<clears throat> so if our conscious mind's goal is, uh, role is to set goals, subconscious mind is to get us there. And we understand that the subconscious mind, and, and that's where you have to have faith because, you know, oh my God, we can look at our business and say, I haven't done this in years. I've got a database. I haven't touched bases in years. I just got to watch what happens when you pick up the damn phone and start talking to people. I had this conversation yesterday with somebody. Watch what happens. You know, but, but even beyond you and, and, and our own limitations and the, the limitations we place on ourselves and, and, and the, when things aren't going well, that begins to perpetuate, right? If you just stop and say, you know what? Here's my goals. Here's what's going to happen. Affirm those goals. This is going to happen. And, and, and then we got to go down the line here in this slide, okay? But it, it's amazing what will begin to happen is your subconscious mind will begin to attract the things we need to accomplish the goal. Such as long as we subside and put away our fears. Because we, we have this self-prophesizing thing that happens with our fears. Because if we fear something, we're attracting that too. If fear is the dominant thought, if lack is the dominant thought, if scarcity mindset is the dominant thought, you're just attracting more of that in your life. You're going, to attract, you're going to also attract like-minded people who also say, share the same fears and limitations. And when you have a positive mindset and you're in a goal-directed mindset, you'll begin to attract as like calls to like. You'll begin to attract people that share those same thoughts and beliefs and people in prospects and people that need what you have. I had a conversation about, you know, selling rate. And this is the same thing, you know, when it comes to real estate, selling price, you know. Um, those things go away when you develop great relationships with people and you follow the sales process. You build good rapport and you become their consultant, right? You're adding value, okay? So once our goals are written, we have to come up. You, you know, I've seen so many people just, I'll call them the personal development gurus where, they're constantly reading self-help books, right? They're constantly listening to Jim Rohn and Tony Robbins and doing all the events, right? But they never put a plan together. That'd be like General MacArthur saying, hey, guys, we want to go out and win the war. But if, if he didn't really, I think it was MacArthur, if he didn't strategize how to, how to uh, 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 maybe it was Patton, win the Battle of the Bulge, if you know that that was the most significant uh, battle of, of all, I think, in World War II. He didn't strategize the Battle of the Bulge and put a, how are we going to do this? What is the plan? Can you imagine a, 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 an army general going to battle with really no plan? But we have goals. We got goals. Can you imagine great coaches like John Calipari or uh, Popovich from San Antonio um, or Bill Belichick from the Patriots, right? Or Aaron Boone from the Yankees. <laughs> Sorry, I had to slide him in. No, can you imagine those great coaches um, going to a game without a clear plan? But 94% of you on this phone right now don't have a business plan, even right now after we've talked about it, right? And, and, and when you write that plan, it can't just be more, a set of more goals. So many people, I say, well, what, what is, what's your business plan look like? Well, uh, I want to make, you know, $250,000. I said, no, 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 no. That's a goal. What is the plan? A couple of things you have to know, guys. What is your average commission? The average commission. Uh, so many people say, well, it all depends, Pat. No, it doesn't. It actually depends on average, which means if you take 10 deals and you average them together, or you take off, if you want to take out the skew, take off the top, take off the bottom, and take the, the, the other eight, put an average together, divide it by eight, and that's your average commission, right? And, and that's just simple statistics, right? So we have to know our average commission, number one. Number two, we have to know our closing ratio. So, well, no, you know, well, some people else. Well, I close almost everybody. Well, no, what is your closing ratio? And, and the only way to develop a consistent closing ratio is to literally say the same things every single day, have the same exact sales presentation. Repetition is the mother of all learning. And when we get really good at creating a track, a system for how getting people to say yes, a system for selling, then, then we become really lethal because we can really absorb ourselves in the tonality, the physiology, the emotion of what's going on in that meeting between two people. 
And so many times people just wing it and hope versus prepare and expect in this business. Wing it and hope. Yeah, I just get up there and I start talking and then what ends up happening, the prospect starts asking you questions, they're interviewing you, then they chew you up and spit you out, ultimately driving down to the topic of what? Price, right? Because that's the only thing they think they, they know or care about, right? So it's up to us to lead that discussion. It's up to us to qualify and we're gonna do uh, some a real sales training here um, in the coming weeks as well. Um, so that it, it, the third thing you have to know in your business plan, okay, is, is, is you have to have systems so that you can say, if I do this and then to have that many contacts, it produces one lead. If you don't have a prospecting system where you can literally look at that and say, I got, I pick up the phone, I talk to, 30 people, all right, I, I, I call, I've got a call list of 80 people, in which case every day I get a hold of three, I do three a day, three contacts a day is, okay, um, let's just call it 20, let's just call it 15 contacts per week, leads me to 10 appointments, which leads me to one sale. If you don't know the, that funnel, then you can't create a business plan that's ever really meaningful. It's just more goals. Okay, so what does that mean? It means we got to track our, our track our prospecting. So when we're on the phone, when you're calling past clients, take out a piece of paper and click calls one, calls two, calls three, calls four. Boom! There's one contact. Now you know how many calls to get to one contact, right? Right. So when, when, once you understand that and you begin to see, watch, you'll begin to see that mathematics and statistics are very, very consistent. They are in blackjack, they are in, in business, they are in closing percentages, right? They are in sales, certainly. And once you, once you begin to see those trends, you can rest away your fears because you'll know, hey man, my system says I got to contact 15 people a week and I only did two. That's why I'm failing. But people that don't do that or don't know that or don't have this stuff down, what do they say? That shit, man, the market's tough. It really is, you know. There's no listings, there's no this, there's no that, right? The economy's over 25,000 right now, okay? It is a wonderful economy. There are deals out there. I talk to people in the same market. Uh, one person's doing eight to 10 deals, the other person's doing two. What's the difference? Is it the economy? You know what I mean? So, but, but, but that's what we fall back to because of our fears and comfort zones, because that, that self-esteem, self-preservation begins to kick in where you say, it can't be me. I mean, I was doing six, seven, eight a month, you know? Now I'm doing two, can't be me. Dissect your schedule, tell me what you've done, where are the high path activities, where are the low path activities, there's your answer, period of the story. I, I will say that 2008, 2009, a little bit tougher, but do you think there were people in 2008, 2009 that made a quarter of a million dollars selling real estate or mortgages? Yes or no? Were there people that did that? Of course there was, right? There were still transactions going on. It was crappy, believe me. But I was I fired 35 employees on the spot one day. I get it. So, um, but you know, that, that's right now is everything you need to, to make the money you guys want to make, okay? So you have to know what, what kind of systems do we have to have, guys. And this is what you hired Spider for. This is why you signed up for a CRM. Most people have a CRM. It sits there, right? You have to have a CRM. You have to have a CRM. You have to use the Spider CRM. I, I, I'm still to this day blown away because I, I, I will say, and I'm not tooting my own horn when I say this, but when I purchase something, I, I dive into it. I, di I pick it apart. I, I take all the pieces apart. I put it together. I take them apart. I put it together until I get clarity on that, right? It's just software. Software is just mathematics. Once you understand the user interface that developers created, it, 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 it becomes habit. It's easy, right? It really is. So again, look at, oh my God, I'm not a techie, not a techie. Well, great. How much time did you invest in the actual video tutorials? And how much time did you actually enter contact, put a dummy workflow together, you know, try this, fail it, delete it, you know, start over. How much, do you, oh, none. Okay, all right. So, but you're not a techie. No, you're not a worker. <laughs> Okay, you, you didn't focus on learning it. That's why, the cause and effect nature, you know. Because um, we're all born with the human brain. The human brain has unlimited potential. God did not say, this one's going to be a techie. 
this one's going to be this, you're going to be that, they're going to be, we, we have unlimited, our brain has an unlimited ability to learn anything through repetition. So, you know, we have to have an offline prospecting system, which I've talked to you guys about time and time again. The question, the first question I ask, and again, these coaching calls are, you know, are designed to hold you accountable, remind you to do the things you already know you should be doing but are. My question, you guys, have you run the active Salesforce prospecting system? Have you actually picked up the phone and said, hey, Jason, Jason, Pat Fenton giving you a call. How's everything going? How's Mary? Good. How are the kids? Everything going good? Hey, awesome, man. Listen, a couple of reasons why I'm reaching out to you right now. Uh, mortgage industry is kicking up. Real estate market is, is real dynamic. Uh, I've got some unbelievable products that we're doing, uh, that we have right now. Should you have a need or if anybody in your centers of influence uh, has a need for a mortgage, whether refi or even consolidation, um, and they mention it around you, would you mind referring my name? 100% of my business is referral driven, and uh, I'm really relying on people like yourselves to spread, to spread the name. If I dropped a couple of business cards in the mail, would you mind passing them out to people that are interested in getting a mortgage? No, absolutely, Pat, not a problem. Hey, second reason why I'm giving you a call is, um, as you know, this, uh, uh, my, my home savings program is designed, which I talked to you about some time ago, to save you 20 to 30% annually on your home spending. And uh, this month, I happen to be promoting, uh, you know, John Smith. John Smith does blank, 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 blank. He, you know, he's put together a deal for my past clients. He's bought a 25% discount. Go ahead and call him if you need him. I'll send an email out to you with a link to his uh, with a link to his website and the actual promotion that he's running for my past clients. Should you have a need, if there's anything else when you came in around the house, please don't hesitate. Give me a call. I'll put you in touch with my team. Okay. Good. How's every How's everything else going? What are you up to? You know, build some more rapport, right? But don't spend too much time, guys. We got we got we got to talk to three people a day. Get off the phone and call itself, right? Just talk to three people a day, okay? in one video email a month. Are you doing three, are you talking to three past clients a day? Do you know how vital that is to your business? Again, again, <clears throat> the biggest reason why people don't won't do that is they literally believe, I gotta find somebody today. I have a mortgage to pay. I, gotta, I, I need to talk to somebody that needs a mortgage today, right? And because of that, you run this massive roller coaster income, but the actual today mortgages are going to be found in those calls. <laughs> you know what I mean? But again, it's having belief that, you know, hey, Pat's just saying it's going to work. But man, talking to three past clients, man, I got so much other shit I got to do today, man. I got, to, I got this. I got to return emails. I got to look at Facebook for a couple hours. I got to, you know, no, it's, it's, it's three calls a day to your past clients, people you know, all right? And you have got to get the form, the habit of doing that and doing that in the morning. And plan out what you're gonna say. I've given you guys umpteen scripts, okay? Um, to be able to do that, which I'm excited to, to roll out our, our new training site, which is gonna consolidate all this knowledge and scripts and training videos all in one spot in a much better manner than we have it now. Um, step-by-step -step scripts and dialogues, all this stuff. We're gonna have downloadable business plans, goal setting mechanisms, so you can download and put your goals in one spot. And, and guys, I, you, know, <laughs> you signed up for this company to buy a CRM and get training on the CRM. Hopefully at this stage you realize that you're, you're, you're we're providing much more, much more. Um, workflow automation, okay? All right, let me go back to uh, prospecting real quick. Three calls a day, one video email a month. Write it down right now. Three calls a day, one video email a month. Three calls a day, one video email a month. And I'm really ecstatic that the people that are on this call, that you guys are on this call, that most of you are on this call or, or come to me and said, hey, show me how to do video email. I need to do this, you know? You know, and I go, well, let's go to your YouTube account. Watch this. And one person say this week, I don't have a YouTube account. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, and that's okay. You got to start somewhere. I don't judge, um, but it is amazing. It is amazing. So get you get a you get a YouTube account. Take your phone that you have. If you don't have the money to buy a camera, take the screen or the the, the video that's on your built-in uh, uh, computer. Hit the record button. Oh, I don't really know how to do that. Go go to YouTube. There's eight thousand videos with your exact computer, exact software that will walk you through how to do that. I guarantee you. Okay, seek it out. It's there, step by step. Anything you want to do.
All right, so record a video, upload it to YouTube, tag it, and take go into your spider system, take the video email template, put in your stuff, and hit send once a month. One video email month, one video email month, three con three contacts, three three calls a day to your past con past client centers for influence. Okay. And it, it could be about home savings, it could be funny, it could be uh, market update, you know, hey, I want to give you a call, you know, and I'm doing this for all my clients just as a courteous, just real quick, John, business-wise, um, the market, the rates have actually, as I didn't look at the rates this week, actually, I'm embarrassed to say, uh, <clears throat> where are the mortgage rates down? Are they up down? I assume they kind of planed off or only kind of vanilla, right? They came down a little bit, I know, a couple weeks back. Um, but here's what's going on in the market right now. Still kind of a shortage of inventory, yet the Dow is really strong, really healthy, and we anticipate that a lot of people are going to be listing their home. Should you want a free market analysis or really a, a comp on what your house would sell for in the event you and your wife would want to cash out, I'm willing to do that for free. Um, just wanted to see if that's something you or anyone you know would be would, uh, would, would actually take a look at the true value of your home versus going to Zillow and not really getting an accurate number. Is that something you'd be interested in? No, not really. Not at this time, Pat. Not, not a problem. Not a problem. Listen, I'm going to drop a couple cards in the, in, in, my, in, in, the, in the mail, if you don't mind. As you know, my business is 100% referral driven. I rely on people like you that when somebody says I have a need to buy or sell a house or anything real estate related, would you mind just mentioning my name, John? Not a problem. I'll give you a couple cards if you wouldn't mind, just so you have a card there, or my contact information. If you can pass that along, I'd greatly appreciate that. Greatly appreciate that. So, you know, anyway, so you do a quick market update and you, I mean, you need to ask you for your help. People want to help people. I actually got offended. We went to dinner last night. We actually did a pedal tour, which, you know, like 15 people on this, uh, like it's basically a, a, a bike slash bar, right? Okay. I don't know if you guys have seen these before and you go down, we went downtown and 15 people got on the bike and I'm like, this is kind of, this is interesting. So I got a pedal and drink a beer. And you go to about three or four different bars for like 20, 25 minutes. We had an absolute blast. It was a lot of fun. So, um, you know, and, 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 and in one, inside one of the bars was my real estate attorney. You notice I said those words, my real estate attorney. Very few people say my realtor. I was at the bar and I, I was talking to my loan originator, right? That happens. You make that happen. You get people saying, my loan originator, my realtor. Follow me? You cause that. My mechanic, my insurance agent, my loan originator. And right now, loan originators and realtors aren't typically looked at in that fashion because we disappear after we do the deal with them. Right? So, um, anyway, I was talking to my real estate attorney. And my brother-in-law is doing some flipping and I hooked my brother, I hooked my brother-in-law with all my contractors and vendors, which are about a third of the price of everywhere else. And is able to do some really good flip and make a substantial profit based on the, love, the relationships I have with the people at wholesale levels. Okay. And all the various areas of, of home development. And so I said, Chris, here you go. Here's my attorney, you know, here you go. Let me work on a deal. And I said to him, I said, how's everything going? I know Chris has got three more, four more houses, got some more clothes. He goes, no, he goes, actually, you use, use somebody else uh, for the last deal. I'm like, what? So I grabbed my wife, it's her brother. I said, hey, listen, <laughs> you need to call your brother. Like, what do you mean? In front of my attorney, you need to call your brother. Because if he's using my, if he's, if, if he's using my vendors, all right, and, you, and, and, and he's, using my, he's using my whole team, okay? I didn't, I'm not helping him to make the oldest money and then have him pick and choose that he's going to use some other realtor. He's using my guy. Make, make sense? Yep. Great. Well, he's getting a phone call today, right? I don't, have, I don't get any fin financial remuneration ever. No. But I want to help people. I want to help my people. And I love helping my people because I know that the key to life is helping people, right? That, that the universe will pay back me 10 people for every one person I help. And that's in the Bible. Right? It's one for 10. You grow one tomato plant, 10 tomatoes grow on it. Right? To one, it's 10 to one. Now, you don't do it expecting to 10. You do it freely, openly, and out of care, concern, and love for other people. But when you do do that, things come out of the woodwork. And, 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 and I tell you, man, our, my business here at Spider is, 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 is really, really, starting to really explode because 
of my focus and concentration on serving people. And when you do that for your business, that flower will blossom. Online prospecting system, guys, blogging Facebook ads, right? Blogging Facebook ads, drive people to your website, the fundamentals, okay? Let's go to the spider CRM, okay? What time is it? 11.28, good. <clears throat> As you know, in the summer months, I don't go a full hour, guys. I, I just, I, I need, I owe it to my family and everything else. Plus, my daughter's graduation party is tomorrow and our house is, you know, you know, going to be very, very, very busy today. <laughs> Preparing for all these people to come over and family members coming in from out of town and whatnot. So, let's, let's, let's take a look at this spider CRM. You know, I had, uh, are your categories and flags at the most fundamental level set up? Is your database segmented? I had a good Magda Saltzman who's on today. We had a good, good little exercise yesterday. We just went through and cleaned out our categories, sources, and flags. We took out things she didn't want and we put in things that she wanted. We made sure that her people were in the right spot, categorized and flagged the right way. All right? So if you come in here and you see stuff you don't want, get it out of there, delete it, or rename it according to your, or add another category, right? Flags is flags is you know people should belong they're in one, they're, they have one category and can have multiple flags right let me see if I can show you an example of that let's go to uh, let me just look up a contact here this is how I manage our website people let's look at uh, Dennis Dooley from Chicago look at there's all the flags one category okay and spider site client. GoDaddy, IDX approval, not paying. Real he actually is, so it's embarrassing to say that because he is a paying customer. I have to take that out. Um, and a great, great guy out of Chicago. Oh, by, by the way, Jim, you should definitely meet up with Dennis Dooley. Okay, there's his number, call him. Great guy, great real estate agent. 630-841-5474. Actually, I think he manages the real estate office now. He'll help you. Tell him you're a spider client, Jim. Okay. Uh, so you get one, everybody typically would have, right? They're in one category and they have multiple flags. Okay. Um, you know, if you really look at client touch, there's so much you can do. You can take a group of people and move them from one area to the other, right? You know, if you've gone into client touch and, and you add a group to, let me see, I'm in Marilyn White's account right now. If we did this, you know, yesterday. Select them all, right? Boom. So if you have an email blast, you want to, you can come in here and manage it. If you have an email blast, you're like, oh, I don't want this one lady. She's a pain in the ass. I want her. I don't want her to get this video email. She's a complainer. Or whatever. Just select it all and then uncheck that lady, right? <laughs> I don't know. In action, what do you want to do, right? Well, I want to move this. You want to move, you know, look at You want to change them, rename them, move them, right? Oh, you can just do that right there. Okay, let's get our database organized and structured the right way. Okay, and you know, and, and make sure that you're setting things up so your your to do is you're actually doing stuff like you know five twenty two eighteen. This stuff should mark complete, mark complete, right? But I'd like to say that Marilyn White is actually a great client. She does a great job. If there's activity in here, if voicemail send email to client follow up, interestingly. Let me see what she's got here. Well, she uses the system. She's got, she's put content in here. Let me see here. So, oh, she didn't, she has not selected an email template in there. Okay, so it's just really a no. So she should put no category. Okay, or select an email. <laughs> All right, so um, when it comes to email templates, guys, you know, you know, okay, oh, Pat, you fly around this thing so fast. This is the, this is the most simple CRM uh, for, in, in, the, in the entire industry, okay? It really is. And like I said to you guys, I, I, most techies, they want you in their, in their system all day long. I don't. I want you hitting buttons and moving on, okay? I want you developing workflows when you get leads, develop workflows, hit buttons. Make sure you log in on your mobile device and hit view from a mobile version and save it to your home screen so you can do it right from your phone. You hit the little spider app looking icon on your phone, 
quick add contact, sign, we can boom, sign workflows. You can add, you know, add a lead right there, sign a new lead, hot buyer lead, right? Hot seller lead, right? And do those workflows. At last week, I assigned you guys some homework. I said, I want you to go through the workflows we created for you, okay? And pick them apart and then go back in your system and change the content. Did you do it? Did you do it? Because I, I, I promise you one thing, if you do and you take the time to go through the workflows and you look at the schematics, you may change the spacing of the schematics, okay, from, you know, do this two days later to do this one day later, whatever the spacing is, right? And, and when you change the content and then you just test it, you put your own name in you, you, and you click that workflow and you look at it, you be like, oh my God, this is going to save me so much time, right? You know, workflows enable you to run faster and gives you more time to actually do selling and marketing, et cetera, right? Uh, and, 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 and if you can just form the habit of coming into the morning, coming in in the morning, making three calls a day, and when you have those contacts, after you talk to them, make a note, and then boom, put them into a, 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 an either an email autoresponder, or make sure make sure they're part of your monthly video email. Make sure they're going to get that monthly video email, right? Or you would say, hey, listen, by the way, let me go back to that other conversation with our three past clients, right? No, yeah, absolutely, Pat. Send me some cards. I will definitely. You know, now, people two days later are going to forget it, right? They're going to forget you had that conversation, and you know, th their subconscious mind needs to be reminded. That's why we have to be there. Uh, we have to follow up with that conversation. That follow up might be a follow up email right away, followed by a month later, followed by the fact they're going to get your monthly video newsletter, followed by the fact that three months later they're going to get it every three months. You should be actually speaking with you should actually be speaking with them, right? Because why? Statistically, they're aware of three three contacts, three people that need to buy or sell a house or get a mortgage, three times a year, and we don't know when those times are going to happen. And if we let too much time go by in that space, they, they'll probably forget if we're not there. So we have to hit them with email, video email, phone call, a letter with business cards in it, right? Boom, 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 boom. So uh, Vanderchuk wrote a book called Knock 'em, Sock 'em, Rock 'em, right? Jib, Jib, uh, Jib uh, I forget what it's Jib, Jab, whatever it is. Um, and it's basically the same concept. You know, it's making sure you don't just do something once, you got to hit them left and right. Jab, there it is. Jab, jab, right hook, right? Um, there it is. Jab, jab, right hook, Gary Vaynerchuk, right? I mean, I think that'd be a great, great book to listen to on your, you know, while you're working out, okay? Which is something I'm gonna finish with here today. You know, I, I've always been a guy that worked out, played college football. You know, I, I had an opportunity to play post-college, and, and I've always believed in athletics and sports and staying fit and lifting weights and running and staying in shape. Of course, <clears throat> there are times where, you know, at five babies and 16, you know, tournaments a, a, a weekend that, you know, you can really, you know, you get tired because you don't sleep. If you don't sleep, you Worse food, you eat food that is immediately in front of you now, and you eat food that's in front of you now, you're typically going to the pantry to eat instead of the refrigerator. So, you know, that happened to me. When I went out and saw Jason Brown in California, this guy is fit as a fiddle, man, right? He gets up every, I stay to him, gets up every single morning, has this huge, huge ginormous thing of water, pounds it. And when I went there, he actually bought me a, a, my own water jug, right? He said, this is what you do first thing, Pat, pound this thing first, then have your coffee. To me, I want to put three cups of coffee down first, right, and then do the water. No, hit this first, boom. Now I'm on a conference call. He brings out dry, dry wheat toast, puts two eggs and one egg white uh, on top of that dry toast. He said, there's absolutely no preservatives in this thing, no salt, no pepper. Just eat this, man. Your body's going to love you, and three hours later, you're going to want to you know, eat again, right? So lunchtime came around, and Tanya's girlfriend had this pulled, pulled chicken, right, with spicy you know, guacamole and salsa. Put that on a whole wheat tortilla, slam that thing down. Man, I tell you what, immediately my body's like, bam, right? Bam. No wonder why Jason has so much energy, right? I'll tell you, man, it makes a difference. It makes a difference on your mindset, your attitude. When you are not sabotaging yourself, when you look in that mirror, say, oh, my God, I can't even look in the mirror. Some people walk right past the mirror. Don't look at me. Don't look right. Don't look left. Keep your head down and walk past the mirror. Okay, good. All right, close the door so nobody sees me. We don't want you know, that. That is, we don't want that. We want to be like, damn, look at that, right? Damn. 
you feel good about yourself. You're in sales. You know, part of part of uh, uh, our success is actually just having an energy level that people want to be around and talk to you, and you just have this energy, right, that they can't see, touch, or smell, but it's there. And that starts with what you eat, what you drink, and and your workout. Okay, so make sure you're hitting the gym, guys. It'll do wonders for you. I really haven't talked too much about the CRM today, guys. I did talk about strategies. Talk about the things you need to have, okay? Do you have clear goals? Do you have a business plan? Do you have a system? Are you executing the system of offline prospecting? Do you have an online system you're following, a system? And are you doing it consistently? Because if you're not, there's your answer. Have you committed to yourself? Have you committed to a CRM? CRM is so important, all right? It really is because it becomes a central nervous system of how you operate. All the money that you want to make is sitting in that CRM. And it organizes you. You know, and if you can put a strategy to the CRM, so it's not just contact management, but it's actually a, a, a prospecting system and marketing system within it, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna blow up. So, Guys, I, I want to hear your feedback. I didn't really talk a ton of specifics inside the CRM, you know, training-wise, but has this been helpful to you today? Just make a quick note, would you? Just tell me on a scale from 1 to 10, did you enjoy our time together today? Was it helpful? Do you feel fired up? Do you feel a little bit more focused, a little bit more razor, like, man, I needed to hear that, you know? Or was it like, damn, I was really hoping to, you know, learn how to do the birthday assistant inside the CRM? Shit, man, that video is right here. You can find anything you want to do in the CRMs right there in a two-minute video. I want, to, I want to fix the core problem. It's that four-pound computer between your ears, above your shoulders, between your ears, the one that drives all emotion, all choice, all action, and all results every single day. Because if I can get you moving in the direction confidently in the direction of your dreams passionately, then, then you will you'll kill it. Even if you're not razor sharp on your words and scripts, you know, take the stinking thinking out, take scarcity mindset out, take limitations out, take excuses out. And I'm hoping that that's what you got from today. You know, that, that it's all there. So if you guys wouldn't mind, I'll, I'll sit and I'll sit in a couple minutes afterwards. I'll take a look. I, I really want your feedback, you know, and the direction of this, this call and the direction of you know, just overall being a spider client, you know, is helping you, become a better real estate agent. So helping you becoming a, become a better loan originator. Maybe even become better in some other areas of your life as well, you know? Um, so give me your feedback, guys. Give me your thoughts. Jamie Cox, what's up, Jamie? Justin Voss, my man, what's up, buddy? Scotty Simpson, Deshaun Tharp. Oh, Deshaun Tharp is after it. Let me tell you, he's on Facebook. He's turning over rocks. He's, he's doing all the right things, man. That's a student right there. Deshaun Tharp has done a great job of understanding this and, and applying it into his business, man. I'm, you, let me know how things are going for you, pal. So, guys, that's it for today. I'm going to take a look at your chat messages. Yeah, Jim, it's Dennis um, Dooley. Dooley, Dennis Dooley. So, yeah, I'll give you his number here. It's uh, 630-841-5474. He's in Chicago. <coughs> okay. Well, I got to order some chicken and ribs up for tomorrow's party and uh, get ready for my mortgage one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. And um, awesome. And, and uh, again, guys, just if you don't know how to chat, find the group chat. I, I need some feedback. Let me know how, let me know how, uh, how this program was today. Okay. I appreciate it guys. Have a great weekend. Love up on those families and we'll talk to you guys next week. We'll be, uh, I have to, I have to move towards back to internet marketing website, stuff like that. I'm going to go six straight weeks of that stuff. Okay. Maybe not six, maybe four. We're going to talk about website, blog content, Facebook ads and sales funnel marketing. Okay. Um, and, and really inexpensive high impact stuff you should do every single day. Um, so that your website is crawling throughout your local community. All right. Have a great day, guys. Josh Sean Tharp, Tharp says, great information as always. Always good to get new ideas, refreshers. Great job. Thanks, pal. Good program, says Jim. I got the confirmation from Fair Fairway. I'll be joining them on 8618. Congratulations to you, buddy. I'm so excited. We'll talk to you in another hour. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for your time.